Follow the rabbit is everything I love about iOS games. What do you do? You follow the rabbit. Why? Because it's fun. Because the title says so. Where? Oh, I don't know, how about through 125 levels of clever, awesome, addictive, puzzle gaming goodness that has way more in common with classic games than the bloated, 90-hour, cost so much that studios are gonna close nonsense being pushed down your throats on consoles. Oh, and there's vanishing Lego blocks. Game. Set. Match. The App Store can be a crowded place, but this is a game that stands out from the crowd. Follow the Rabbit isn't anything new or revolutionary, but it is a really clever puzzle game with a ton of variety and even more charm. The concept is simple. Each level has a door. A door that the rabbit has just run through. And it's up to you to follow the rabbit. The primary objective is to get your parallelogram protagonist to said door. And if you can collect all the coins on the way, well, bonus points for you. Check out the big brain on Brad! What I love about Follow the Rabbit is that it's one of those games that manages to achieve real complexity, but without being convoluted or off-putting. And I think there's an important difference there. To me, smart design ensures the controls and mechanics never get in the way. They should be simple. That way all your challenge and all your complexity can come from everything else, from the actual puzzles and levels and objectives. That's exactly what Follow the Rabbit does. This game is never hard to play, but its puzzles can be very hard. The challenge is always genuine and fair, even inviting, and to me, that's awesome game design. In terms of specifics, you can slide in both directions relative to the speed of your finger. The game also divides its levels among several unique worlds, and seriously, each one introduces fresh ideas to the basic concept. In virtually every aspect, this is a very inspired puzzle game. Oh, the old school gamer in me, who is ever more inclined to start rants by saying, back in my day, Still kind of stunned that uh, you punk kids can get a game this good on a mobile device for only 99 cents. And to me, the crazy thing is that a lot of gamers are like, Ah, oh, iOS games aren't real games. Are you freaking kidding me? Listen, I hate to do this, but when I was your age, we would have eaten this right up, bones and all. It's awesome, it's fun, I'm old. Let's follow the rabbit for the iPhone.